Salutations and welcome to my haunted abode. Today we are back with White Day 2, The Flower That Tells Lies. Episode 3 came out a lot sooner than I anticipated. There's usually like a three month span between episodes, but this time, between 2 and 3, it came out in about two months. But as the time of recording this, it came out four weeks ago. Just out of the blue, there was no trailer, nothing. Usually I would be notified when the episode comes out, but not even that. So, another thing I wanted to point out is that this one costs $6.99. Episode 2 was free. I was under the impression that once you paid for episode 1, which was 20 bucks, the rest of the episodes would be free, but that was not the case. I'm not really sure what's going through the development team's erratic behaviors, but we're gonna go ahead and just start this. Uh, normal, and we'll do her story. And I assume we're playing as Sao Yuri. Oh wait, is that the Adidas shoes guy? Wait, come to think of it, is this the same cutscene from the very first game? It just looks a little bit more grim. So young, I will bring light to Nayang's death, I swear. And I will make sure her spirit is able to leave this school in peace. What? It, is this you, G Man? Wait, we're gonna play as UG Men. Okay. I was not anticipating this. So we're playing as an older character. In case you don't know who UG Men is, she is the DSC character of the Right Day remake. Interesting. Okay, but why didn't they include any, like, costumes? Well, maybe they included costumes now. That's weird. So that's who that girl was in the cover. With the pigtail hairs. I thought that was, like, the ghost girl. Alright, so I guess we're gonna be following Hana Young. But why'd she come back into the school? I guess she wasn't done. Wait, when does this take place? I really cannot recall. I don't know if this is before or after the first White Day game. Oh, that's her. <sighs> yep, she saw me, but let's be real here. She's not at all intimidating. She suffers from short-term memory. As soon as she sees you after like 10 seconds, she's gonna forget that you're there. I, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was just going for a nice walk. All right, so, oh, okay. Librarian's note. I've been under a lot of stress lately because some students have not been returning their books on time. My pleas for them to return the books on time have fallen on deaf ears. It's past time for words. It seems that they need to be punished. In particular, the ones on the library card should be taught a lesson. On the library card? So you have the, uh, the due dates for all these people? Here's the library card. Uh, library card number one, War Classic Novels. Class 3-7. Kim min Su, Yu ji Hoon, Park ha -min. Well, these are people we're not too familiar with. Alright. So we gotta... Wait, are these classes we have to go to to get these books, or...? Don't know. Can we go on the computer? Nope. Oh. Are you the ones that have been punished? Okay, yeah, I gotta go get those books. Yeah, I think these are the punished people. I think the librarian went a little far. Okay, uh... Where should we start off with? Uh, library card. 
37, 34, 32, 3, 11. Does it... Wait. I don't know if I have to do this in order, or... I mean, I think 11's the closest, isn't it? Yeah, 11's just like one floor down. Oh, come on! She opened the door. I did not open the door. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll just forget you after like 10 seconds. So there's no need to use any cameras. Not that I have any. I think she's breaking a record here. Yep. She broke the 10 record. Alright, uh, let's see. This is... Oh, no, no, that's 12. This is 11. Oh, I found a, <laughs> found a camera. I didn't find a book, though. Well, thanks a lot. Oh, boy. Alright. There we go. What was it? 37? I don't know what room that is. Or oh, three fours right right down, I think. I should know these rooms. I've been through it like so many times. Okay. Three seven. So do I Oh man, I'm so confused. 37 is up. What's going on? I don't understand. Okay. Isn't this a room I need to go to as well? Is this 3-4 or was the other one 3-4? Is there a book here? Nope. So I gotta go up. Is there? Yes, thank you. I need one of these. So yeah, go up for 3-7, I didn't see a book anywhere. I'm assuming that it's, I have to do it in those steps, because it's labeled as numbers. Is this it? Say, 3-7, we are currently, yeah, there should be 3-7. Oh, disposable camera. There we go. Wow, I could've just... Yeah, I should've done it in order. I should've known better because it was like labeled numerically. Hmm. 3-4 now. Which is the room that we were in earlier. Did they just spawn there? As soon as like, she sees me from a far distance, she's not gonna be able to catch up. Watch, she'll like, see me right here. I like that music, so funny. Okay. Right here? Gotta like save the stamina. But where though? There's like no bookcase here. Is it like- oh. Oh, that's a book. Oh, they're just inside the desks. Alright, uh, what now? We gotta go to two. Which I think is a cross. Like, I should know these rooms well enough to know that they're just across from each other. Nope. Does it have to do the scene again, or...? I really don't know what room I'm in. This is 3-2. No book. Or does it have to do this? There we go. Yeah, it has to do this every time, I guess. No book? Oh, that's a book. Why was it on the teacher's desk? I guess the teacher took it away. Teachers do tend to do that. It's like, if you're not listening in class, they take your book away. Or they take your homework away. I remember that from, like, honors chemistry. Alright, so now I gotta go. Oh, she's here. Oh no, these doors are locked. Oh, I just gotta go across. No big deal. She sees me. 
She can go suck it. It's gotta go right in here. I think this is the room. Oh wait, just just walk here. Oh wait, wrong room, I think. <laughs> I'm really bad at the numbering. Right in here. There we go. Can't open the door now. Beesh. Oh, thanks. What is this librarian doing? Putting people in freaking closets? Wow, that's like such a sinner thing to do. Alright. Made it. Safe and sound. Which book is it? There we go. And... Last one. Oh nice, we got a book. Huh? This is the Broadcasting Club? Shall we go to the Broadcasting Club first? Sure are you. Something about her character seems a bit different from what I'm used to. I don't know, if I recall like her first debut. That was a ghost. That's a ghost too. From her first debut, she seemed a bit more sassy. Don't just stand there. It's like, where's that tone in her voice? Like it's gone in this girl. It's like they're playing different roles. It's like watching Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Where they like switch roles for like Sonya Blade or something. There's that ghost again. Why do they keep bringing up these overused ghosts? Alright, uh, what are we doing now? Oh, Broadcasting Club. Yeah, I mean, by the time we get here, you won't even be able to catch up to me. Uh, da 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 da. You know what really bemoans me? The fact that <laughs> there's no cheat codes for this game. Like, there's no cheat engine or anything. I've been looking it up on, like, Google. No luck at all. Because this game only relies on autosave, which is a huge pain. I, I don't think you can see it, but it just autosaved. You can't save manually, and it's just. It makes it so much harder to get all the endings. So hopefully it's not as rough with this one. Hi. Oh. Oh, it's this creature again. The excessive hand job persona non grata. Well, <laughs> oh, the hallways are blue. It's really nice looking, actually. Uh, okay. You did it. Can beat me in a running marathon. Alright, anyway, what are we doing now? A uh, broadcasting club. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, we're gonna have to do something here later. Hmm. Alright. Is there, like, uh... Any toll box keys? Yeah, you gotta think about those. They make it a little too easy to, like, get ghost stories. You just have to, like, find toll box keys and just open it with toll keys. Oh, that's a key right there. Can't get it, though. Wait, can I? Nope. I'm seeing if they, like, fix this bug. No, they didn't fix this. It still works here, but it doesn't look like it works on any other desk. Okay. Anyway. Uh, what's inside this room? A blood mark? Yes. We got a toe box key. So now... So wait, what floor was the broadcasting club? 
Oh, that's not accessible. Neither is that. Uh, let's see. Broadcasting studio. We're like literally right here. But we can't open the door. That's unusual. But don't we want to go to the broadcasting room? Who would lock such a place? I bet it's all set up for like an enemy. Alright. Oh, it's Principal Donald Trump. Yellow is the new black. Anyway, I guess we're following him? Wait, can we go upstairs before we go down there? Just make sure I can get some more disposable cameras. Nope. I assume it's the same upstairs. So I guess we'll proceed through here. Are we gonna, like, encounter the male janitor? Or the male security guard, excuse me, there's no janitors in this one. Yeah, I mean, like, bringing Yuji Min into the picture, like, really confuses the timeline a bit. I thought she was done. Ooh, look. Some yoga poses. I've been doing a lot of stretches lately. Got my metal stretches back. Or metal split stretches back, excuse me. Oh, look. Something about healthy nutrition. Okay. School's nurse note. Due to the mistake of Mr. Lee Du Han, the biology teacher, a package that was supposed to be delivered to the biology room was delivered to the nurse's office. Curiosity got the better of me, so I opened the box and found a herbicide inside. The instructions said it was very effective at killing tree roots. What did Mr. Lee want to use it for? Well, I know we had to find the herbicide now. So it's in here. But where? I mean, you can't really open up any of these cabinets. I guess it wouldn't be that easy, huh? Yeah, wouldn't be that easy. This looks awfully fishy. I bet the herbicide's in there. Okay. Well, what about that first aid kit? Nope. Alright, uh, I guess we're done there. Yes. <sighs> moving anatomical model. The rumor of the anatomical model moving on its own in the biology room at night has been causing distress among the students. So this is a uh, Pascos from the White Day remake. And the original White Day, too. Uh, in response, Principal Yu Young Oh has ordered the model to be moved to the nurse's office. I felt like I've been taken on on a burden. Looking at it closely, I can see why such a rumor exists. It looks so creepy. How should I put it? It looks like a living person. I wonder where they got it from. Anyway, ever since that creepy thing has been brought here, I've been feeling dizzy quite often. In addition, it feels as if someone is staring at me sometimes. I hope it's nothing. I don't know, it feels like that's an added bonus story. To, like, the ghost. I know, this one sounds like it... It could be a threat, in some way. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go in here. No keys, no nothing. A new candidate. It's been decades since I last inhabited this aging body. All those years of searching for a new candidate have finally paid off. I must hurry and make preparations for the resurrection ritual. So that's the principal, you young O. Okay, got another toe box key. Not sure where to put it on right now, so I guess we'll hold on to it for now. Any, uh... Nope, I don't see anything here. Yep. Can I? Nope, you can't open those either. There's a... That's a... I don't even know what the plant is called. Oh. It came to life. Oh my gosh, this is the herbicide, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought so. 
Uh, can't do anything with that. Uh, do we want to hide? Hmm. Just, oh, another Tobots key. Oh. Oh. Student counseling note. Uh, Li Hien Yin, Li Hai Yin? Subjective complaint. Considering dropping out of the school due to the poor adjustment to school life. Plan. Meeting with Principal Yu Young O oh for a better adjustment plan. Note. Single parent family. Oh, this is going through all the students that have been gone through counseling. Okay. Poor adjustments to school due to life in the family problems. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing with like meeting Principal Yu Young O, oh, so I won't even go through that. Uh, Yuji Hai. Suicide attempt due to several de severe depression. Several depression. Uh, notice. Please report the complete counseling note for Principal Yu Young O. Oh. I feel like everyone in this game has mental issues. Well, specifically, like, the students. Something awfully fishy must be going on regarding the ritual. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. We're trying to hide. Oh, no, he probably saw me. Oh, no, he saw me. Oh, and it's an instant kill, too. Oh, this one's more aggressive than the old one. Okay, I guess I'm just going in a circle from here to avoid the mannequin. Because, like, what it does is that, like, it prevents you from sprinting, and it impairs your vision, which, you know, makes it really hard to play through the game. So, let's, uh, give this a shot. Oh, there's a toe box there. Yeah, we gotta go back for that toe box. Just go ahead and get this too while I'm at it. Alright. Uh, come in, boyo. All right, go. It's like running a marathon, but you're out of energy. No, go away. Ah, uh, yeah, we got to get the herbicide. Click, click, click. Bye, bye, bye. And is that upstairs? Yeah, yeah, it's upstairs. We were walking downstairs last time. Uh, closing that door, putting the herbicide in. Oh, nice. Oh, would that stop this thing? I imagine it would. It's like Pesadello all over again. Is it going to open the door? It's going to be so funny. I think it opened the door last time. But I never saw the animation. We'll see it now. <laughs> it did it. It didn't even use its hands. Oh, it just left a note. Just saw that spawn there. Oh. Now it's completely gone. Alright, anyway. Uh, note. 8124. Okay. Uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and open up that one toe box, box that I missed. Oh, come on. I hate when they do this. They give you nothing. But anyway, uh, I guess this is where the 8124 goes to. Alright. So we're back in here. This is a blast from the past, huh? I mean, these are already open. So does this... Does this take... I really don't know the timeline here. Like, when they brought UG Min in, I, I got completely lost with the storyline. An associate's note, I would use to kidnap students as a sacrifice to the Holy Tree. Well, that pretty much explains everyone's mental issues. Immortal soul, I attained immortality with the power of the Holy Tree, but it was imperfect. Although my soul was immortalized by the power of the Holy Tree, my body was not. That's when the Foundation Shamans offered me the Resurrection Ritual. A ritual that uses a living body as a vessel for my soul. With no other viable option, I accepted their offer. But finding the perfect candidate was not easy. 
There were countless promising subjects, but all of them failed. My body began to crumble over time. In desperation, I prepared a jar of the living soul and decided to parasitize the body of a member of the Foundation, Yu Young-o. I must find a new vessel soon. Mm hmm. Your body's crumbling. You're like a hundred years old or something? Oh yeah, this is the... This is the former chairman, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I don't have a key for that. Is there like a... Oh. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. Okay. Oh. These work now. Oh, so that was a button to turn on the monitors. Okay. Kong So Yun. We're already familiar with this. Had no idea we were recording, huh? No, I think we were. He did that dumb. Alright. Oh, this is what we were looking for in the last episode. This is Yuji Min. It's like, I was looking everywhere for this. I probably replayed this game like 20 times to look for this scene. I didn't know where it was, but apparently it's inside a classroom. And she, yep, there she goes. Yep, that is the scene that I was looking for. She screams, then she runs out. Adidas shoes, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Who is this guy? Yeah, we know he got bashed and bashed with the baseball bat. But he was in school at night too. They're so Yuri. Still don't know much about her, but I think we're gonna find out pretty soon. It is the final episode. Alright, anyway, um, batteries in the red, um, uh, it's also midnight now, so my fast has broken. I can go ahead and go eat, so I'm about to go eat right now. Yeah. So Yuri went through here. Ah, <sighs> but where, though? That we will find out. Well, that door is accessible. Oh, no! No, what happened? Oh, that happened so quickly, I didn't expect a little dialogue choice scene. And now the game froze. You know, you could have done like a little fade in and out. We didn't have to just throw you in there. That was uncalled for. All right, we made it back here. Fortunately, it didn't autosave after I had to make a choice. If it did that, I would have been so upset because autosave is literally the worst enemy in this game. Okay, yeah, so. Don't press anything, just walk. Okay. It really just throws you in there. There's no cutscene or anything. That is not nice. Okay, let's eavesdrop. Let's look suspicious. Let's go inside. Uh, we'll, we'll go with that. Sure. Eavesdropping isn't nice. I'm a graduate here. And you? My name is Yu Jimin. I'm a freshman at this school. What were you doing here? Ah, I left something behind. Let's just pretend we didn't see each other. Since it's the same for both of us, coming in school secretly. Uh, what's up with her? <laughs> What's up with her? This is not the same Yuji Min I remember. Uh, yeah. Outsider's note. Recently, Yondu High School held a large blood drive for students and staff. The strange thing was that participation was mandatory. Excuse me, I'd, I'd just leave the school then. It's worth investigating why such a large amount of blood was collected all at once. Okay. But yeah, uh, Yuji Men, not the same as she was. Wait, she was a sophomore. I think she, 
She was a sophomore in the previous game, but she's a freshman here. So this has taken place before. Yeah, I, I was getting a little bit confused with the timeline here, but I guess... I am still a little bit confused. I'm gonna have to, like, really think about it. Someone's cell phone. Restricted caller ID. If you don't call home to... If you don't come to school tonight, I will expose your secret. Whose phone is this? Okay. Hi. We got another one of these. Now I get three out of nine. Is that so Yuri? And that was that Adidas shoe guy. We don't really know his name. That's all I've been calling him. Oh man. Okay, anyway. Well, let's go to the homeroom mentioned in the diary. There might be a clue. I don't know. Something about her voice acting seems a little lifeless. Uh so the Hot Eye Young thing got updated. Oh, it skipped one. Did I miss one? Okay, we'll, we'll start off with this. Actually, we'll read all of it once we collect all of them. I still gotta go look for two. I don't know how many there are, but just like skipping over just... I don't know. Just hits me the wrong way. So... Wait, where are we going? Home Economics Classroom. That would be across, if I recall. Can't go through there, so we gotta go downstairs. Maybe I go even further downstairs, because maybe the other side is locked. That's what I would assume. I'm kind of sensing a pattern here. Who dat? Anyway, I'm just gonna chill in here for now. Not sure if that's at all deleterious. Oh. Oh. We should be in here anyway for someone's diary. Alright, we'll read this then. March 7th, 1998. I was told by the teacher in charge of the broadcasting club, Miss Kim G1, that a new student had joined the club. As the president of the broadcasting club, it was my duty to meet the new member. So I went to the broadcasting room and there was this girl. Her name was Hanan Young. March 10th, 1998. She seemed unremarkable, but to my surprise, she was better at broadcasting than I ever was. It bothered me to the end, to no end to see her getting all of Miss Kim's attention. I must do something about her. March 25th, 1998. Apparently, Na Young was a very close friend of late Kim Sung Ah, who died in the home economics room fire. That's why she looked so depressed lately. Serves her right. Whoever wrote this diary is a jerk. Maybe I can use this somehow to kick her out of the broadcasting club? Oh, that is so mean. Oh my goodness. Wait. Right, l let me continue reading first. I'm kind of sensing who this diary is from. April 8th, 1998. A fellow club member, Choi in -yo. Don't know who that is? I don't even know if I even pronounced that right. <laughs> has been hanging out with Nai Young lately to cheer her up. Miss Kim has also been showing her favoritism by giving Nai Young time off from broadcasting. I don't like that she's been treating like the hero and from a tragedy just because her friend died. May 1st, 1998. I overheard In Om confessing his feelings to Nai Young in the recording room, but she rejected his advances and ran out of the room. Wait a minute. So that little girl was Hana Young? I thought Hana Young was taller than that. Maybe that guy was just so tall that, like, it was hard to really compare who's tall. <laughs> but she rejected his advances and ran out of the room. Luckily, she didn't see me, but in up, caught me eavesdropping. He asked me not to tell anyone about what I saw today. I promised to keep it a secret if he gave me Na Young's phone number. May 7th, 1998. The atmosphere at the broadcasting club gets worse every day. It's all because of Hana Young. Kim Sung Ah's death, In Up's confession, Miss Kim's favoritism. I don't like any of them. I should put my plan into action now. So, yeah, this. I assume it's gonna augur the ending in some way. 
Is the, the girl, Sao Yuri. Could that be her diary? Because who's, whose diary could that be? It clearly isn't Yuji Min. All Yuji Min wants to do is do something for So Young. Uh, exorcism Guide Advanced. Nothing is as effective as the Ying Yang token when it comes to exercising evil. But what should you do if you don't have one? Use light. That's what you should do. Intense light, like a camera flash, can have a similar exorcism effect on evil. Okay. Unfortunately, I have four of those. Excuse me? Why do we have this filter on? I gotta go look for some disposable cameras. I don't see any. Okay. Oh. Did you just hit me? Hmm. So it looks like it's a boss battle. Ah! You suck. At this point, I'd rather die. Caught you this time. Uh-oh. Oh, you had to be at a distance. That sucks. Do they respawn? Oh, they don't respawn. I might as well die then. Dude, there's like no cameras anywhere here. Ah, oh, there's one. Ah, oh, there's another one. No! Ah! It's space! I keep forgetting, dude. Okay, we gotta go back then. Ooh, got it that time. Ah. What a freaking B I T C H. What? Where? Where? How'd you get here? Oh my goodness. What ghost was that? Seriously, there's not much context at all. Most of these guesses. I'm, I'm sure there is, like, in the toll boxes. I really should be checking up on these more, but I haven't seen many toll box keys. Uh, but why are they all, like, in toll boxes, though? Why can't they just, like, be in more creative spots than just, like, the same spot over and over? Like, the toll box key thing is, like, it's really aggravating to deal with. Uh, anyway... Oh yeah, we got we gotta go to the home economics room. It's right in here. Excuse me. Ah! Who who are you? Oh, it's just Sarji Han, who always follows around Soyoung. My name is Yu Jimin. I don't know why you're here, but it'd be best if you hurry up and leave. I don't know why so many people come into school at night. People? I met some girl at the broadcasting club a while ago. She said she was a graduate of Yondu High. Was it... Sayuri? Well, I'd better get going. Hmm. So, wait. Hana Young is older than So Young, right? Oh, what's this? Drop cell phone. I'm still in school, Ji Hun. She dropped her phone here? What was she doing here? 
Okay, anyway. What's this? Home economic snow, meaning and significance of Jessa. Incense was used to purify impurities and clear the mind in order to communicate with the divine. This part will be on the test. Be sure to memorize it. I've never, like, fully taken in a home economics class. I took, like, a really basic one. Didn't really do any cooking or anything. It's just, like... Really, it's just there for the knowledge. Let's investigate the first floor. First floor is... Well, we're here. What do you want me to investigate? Oh. That is why I made it go out here. <laughs> that got me off guard a bit. Okay. Alright. What do you want me to do there? Lock won't open. Oh. Uh, this is important in some way. Hi to you too. Um. <laughs> what was that about? Yeah, that was a brand new ghost. We didn't get much of a story there. It's a look in the sink ghost. All right, so I gotta get a key for this area, apparently. But where do I start? There's like, oh, what's this? Uh, just another toll box key, whatever. The Eve of the Small Auditorium. Discovered a new mystery concerning the small auditorium today. There have been many cases of students' belongings gone missing, and it turns out that the culprit is the ghost of the small auditorium. It also seems that the ghost has struck again, as K. Tae Wu from the photography club has been complaining about the stolen film developer all day. Okay. And why is that relevant to me? Oh. Oh, wait, this is the small auditorium. Now it's relevant. Oh, we gotta go in there, don't we? Okay. So it, it auto saved, right? Do I do I have to play? Oh, tag on it. Oh no. <laughs> Which mannequin is it? To be continued. Oh, is that it? Oh, we found it. Nice. Uh, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, oh no, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I hate mannequins. Alright, it's up here. There it is. So I, I gotta go around. Oh. Are you joking, bro? Alright, bye. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, it was a lot easier. It's just, um, you get stuck. There we go. So what was that that I just picked up? Film developer. Okay, so we got the... The film developer, but... Do we need anything else? Like, maybe film? Oh. Incense burner. Is that what... Is that where that goes? Hang on. Yeah, I didn't see that in the economics room. There we go. Uh, so is that accessible now? It is. Okay, we got a diary too, but let's go ahead and go to the, uh, whatever room they wanted me to go to. Let me see. Investigate the photo studio, which I assume is that lock from upstairs. Two floors ago, I think. Sorry, dude. I gotta go in here. No, stop. Alright. Now we're in here. He's gotta make sure he doesn't, like, come. Oh, there was gonna be a cutscene anyway. <laughs> okay. That was a cutscene, but I had to, like, get out of it. Weird cutscene. 
All right. What are we doing here? How to develop film. This is basic knowledge that every member of the photograph photography club should know. Number one, place the photo paper on the easel. Insert the film into the film holder. Place the film holder with the film onto the enlarger. Turn on the lamp on the enlarger to expose the film to the light. Place the exposed photo paper in the tray containing the film developer. And finally, remove the photo paper and check the image. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and read Hada Young's diary. Alright, March 6th, 1998. It's a new school year. I'm disappointed to be in a different class than my friend Sunga, but... I'm glad that my new classmates seem to be nice. Sunga was a bit cross with me for having lunch with my new classmates. March 13th, 1998. Sunga was angry with me for talking to other students. Am I not allowed to talk to my other friends at all? Should I only be friends with Sunga? Sunga, why don't you just mutually become friends with her friends? March 20th, 1998. Sunga is dead. In the home economics classroom fire. It's all my fault. Mine. Sunga is dead because of me. Because of me. I don't deserve to live. March 27th, 1998. Sunga is dead because I didn't go into the home economics classroom after that day. She asked me to come so we would make up. Do I deserve to live after killing her? I just want to die. April 3rd, 1998. I told the teacher in charge of the broadcasting club, Miss Kim Jung Won, that I wanted to quit the club, but she said no. She said no. She also told me that she'd tell the other students to be more considerate of me. She wasn't even interested in the broadcasting club, so why is she doing all this all of a sudden? March 10th, 1998. When it's time for extracurricular activities, a fellow member of the broadcasting club, Choi in Won, comes to my classroom to pick me up. Is this what Miss Kim meant by telling the others to be more considerate of me? April 7th, 1998. Today, I was told that I have my picture taken from the yearbook, so I did. I was told to smile because this is for the record, but I couldn't. I didn't want to leave my mark, because I'm going to quit the club anyway. I should stop by the photo studio when I have time. So she said no. I think we know who the real villain is. April 24th, 1998. Today, Choi Inop came to pick me up again for the extracurricular activities. I insisted on not going, but he took me to the club against my wishes. Why is he doing this? May 1st, 1998. I asked Inop why he comes to pick me up. He said it's because he likes me. In fact, he wanted to ask me out for a long time. After hearing his answer, I left the broadcasting room. It felt awkward. May 8th, 1998. I received a weird message from a restricted number. It was from Sunga saying that she was waiting for me. Why aren't you coming, Na Young? I told you I'd wait for you in the home economics classroom. I don't want to die, Na Young. Say be please. I died because you didn't come. Did Sunga really send that text? Or who sent those texts? Uh, someone... The someone's diary person. I'll have it at that because the number was given, correct? All because of the eavesdrop. Oh. Oh, I got film. Alright, so that's been done. They, they could have made it a lot easier by showing you a little symbol to interact with. Like, I would have never guessed that you had to open up these lockers. Oh my goodness, that is... Yeah, this too? There's the photo paper. Alright, now we're ready to boogie. Ah, oh, what a headache this game is. They really should have spent more time. Like, at least one more month with, like, how frustrating this is. Alright, and now we got the exposed photo. That's what, uh, Sayuri was looking at. All right, and now we put it in here. Cool. Oh, it's the person from before. She was in the same broadcasting club as Han Na Young. This is the library. I must have a look.
Oh, why didn't you do this with all the other scenes? They put me straight here. That is... Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. I'm glad that it, that it didn't make me walk all the way here. I would have been, like, so pissed. Thank you for giving us a break for once. It's like, I really want to lock the game, but they need to, like, work on a little bit more convenience. Alright, so we're, we're going up the library. I'm not concerned about her. She's like, whatever. She's gonna go up the library. But you know, I do the same thing. If she's like near the library, just uh, photo shoot her. She going back? Yeah, like, these banners here mean nothing. Oh. Huh? Caught me off guard a bit there. Alright. Now, uh, let's proceed to go up. Battery's about to die. Okay. You want me to go in there? Why? Stole it. Stealing it. <laughs> Wait, what are all these? Okay, they're paintings. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Crumbled paper, today is the day that Miss Kim Ji Wan and I will finally carry out our plan. Let me wait for her at the back of the gym storage and main building line. I'm not going there. That's way too far back. You're not telling her to go there, right? Like, I, I like the tune of the music. Like, it makes you want to feel some sorrow. But the thing is, like, <laughs> I'm so frustrated with the game that I don't feel that much sorrow. Yet we get it. We've seen you walk backwards like a million times down this thing. Oh, I missed this. Okay, so we got the fourth mystery piece. Alright, so, apparently there's like a little, one of those things, where is it, right here, where we put the mystery pieces in. Alright, Na Young's Diary 4th, May 22nd, 1998. Every day is terrible. Maybe I'm in hell, being punished by my sins, for causing the death of my friend Sangha. May 29th, 1998. There's a painting by Choi in Wook in the art room. For some reason, that painting gives me the creeps. 26th of June, I went to the roof and ran into Jung Soojin. There is a rumor going lately that she killed Sung Ah. She was in tears while smoking a cigarette. And when she saw me, she hurried downstairs. Did she really kill Sung Ah? I don't really know what happened. Okay. I mean, it's all really coming clear. Hmm. Oh, so it's breaking down to be between, like, Kang So Yun and Sao Yuri. I don't know. I think, like, Kang So Yun is, like, involved in the death of someone else. It's not involving Hana Young. So it really all comes down to Sao Yuri, since we haven't played her. As I don't think. In some way, she probably doesn't feel remorse for what she may have done. That's what it's come down to for my thought, in theory. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing? Let's investigate the art room. Art... This room over here? This is... It isn't Naya. Inya 
must have really liked you. <sighs> Hiding something like this. <laughs> you know, Chain Hyup? Of course I do. I even know where he is right now. <laughs> the janitor threw him in the basement yesterday. I'm not sure if he's still alive. Excuse me? Anyway, I think I know who the real Yuji Min is. Whatever her name is with the ponytail hair, she acts a whole lot more like Yuji Min. Huh. <sighs> yeah. I think they just made like a... <laughs> a doppelganger. Uh, anyway. What? what we're... Yeah, we're in the basement again, but I think we're in the opposite direction. Yeah, what what was Sayuri doing to Jihun? I don't like where that's going, unless like Sayuri's possessed by Hana Young. Which I doubt that's the case. Something tells me like Hana Young may be just haunting Sayuri. Is I I don't think she has like any evil blood in her. Okay, what are we doing now? Oh. Isn't the basement without this guy? Oh, he's coming that way. Uh. <laughs> no, he didn't see me. All right, so what are we doing now? We're we just running through a maze. Hi. Two. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Six. Two. Or is it six? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I have more than one enemy. Oh. Hi, hi, hi. There's no six, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just, we're adding up the numbers. Alright, so now I got to go get the tablet. Oh, get out of here. How do you get here so fast? It's like they spawned him there. I gotta heal up, man. Oh. <laughs> no thanks. Alright, so where does this one go to? I'll try this one. Okay. Uh. Oh boy. That's number eight. I guess we'll open it. Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh. I didn't even see that guy there. 19. Okay. So we do want to open up 19. Ah! Uh. There. Got it. Did I open it? No, I didn't open it. Oh, it has to be an exact number. That sucks.
Ugh. You have to think of all of that. Like, you have to do math all at once. Uh, no. Oh, no! Oh, that's so uncool. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. We gotta, we gotta add it up to... Thank goodness I can just pause it. Ugh! Okay, I just did the math. It's five, six, eight. Five, six, eight. If we want to get the valve open. Dude, screw off. There you go. Open that now. Well, I'll have a breather for a bit. Oh, nope. When the health is down, it's down. Oh, this is going to be one of the worst boss fights. Mm. Okay, this way. Got to be this way anyway. Okay, good. I need to be here now. What are we doing now? Seven. What does seven have? Oh, this is also a seven. All right. Clearly. Alright, it's all coming clear now. Now I just gotta find the tablet. Tabo. Squobo. Okay, uh, there's the levers. I don't think I want to open that. 20. Alright, math time. 5, 7, 8. Oh no, it opened up that freaking other gate. Okay, okay, thanks a lot. But the guy's here. Alright, this is it. And voila. Oh, is that Choi? Yeah, the Adidas guy. Appreciate it, boy. Hurry. Alright, key. Anyway. You forget where you were? You were just attacking me earlier. Darn, she got away. <laughs> Can I get his shoes? I mean, Adidas shoes are pretty expensive, man. I mean, he's already dead. Okay, thanks. Riding up to 10 now. Uh. Oh, wait, that's all of it. Okay. Alright, uh, I think this is the end. I think we went full circle at this point. Alright, in we go. How'd you get there? Oh, this is a different tree, then. I thought it was, like, the same ghost. This is, like, the godfather of the tree. From the, uh, the first game. Revenge. I get it. I think I was right about the diary thing. If it says revenge. And they're burning, uh, Sayuri. 
Wait a minute. But Sangha's death was caused by Kang Se Yun. And Han Ai Young's death, I mean, at the time, it was like unknown. But now that I'm figuring it out, this whole revenge title is claiming that Sayuri is the one that caused it. That's what it's all coming down to. <sighs> I mean, for the most part, there's just like this cornucopia of mental issues going around with the entire school. But yeah, uh, I, I guess we'll go ahead and look for all the endings now. So we got one, we still gotta find this, that, that. I don't remember what these are. I guess we'll read this one up for now. Jimin destroys the holy tree and leaves the school. Meanwhile, Yuri's tied in the home economics classroom by Ji Hun. Is that so? Wait, was Ji Hun like possessed? Oh, it says right there, possessed by Na Young. And the fire starts to spread just like the accident that killed Sangha. So what came of Ji Hun? That she just, she just leaves freely, right? But they just want, like, uh, Sayuri to suffer. But yeah, she's the one from the Someone's Diary. She's the jealous one of Na Young. Okay. I'm catching it on. Anyway, it's gonna take a while before we get to the next ending, so... I might just go for a run at the moment and let the current footage render. Ugh, I'm so tired of you. Oh, they have a... a fifth entry to the diary. June 5th, 1998, I overheard a senior member of the broadcasting club, Sao Yuri, being scolded by Miss Kim. She was arguing with Miss Kim about why she wouldn't let me quit. So it wasn't Miss Kim, it was Sao Yuri. So she's like the direct evil here. Even though I've been ruining the club's atmosphere. June 12th, 1998, I was crouched down in the recording studio and fell asleep. I woke up in the middle of the night, and to my surprise, I saw Sao Yuri. I watched her in secret and she was putting some box knife blades into bread that had been cut into small pieces. Then I remembered that she had given me bread some time ago saying that it was from a knot. July 3rd, 1998. Today, Yuri left cell phone into the broadcasting room. Remembering what I saw earlier, I checked her cell phone for any texts she had sent. There it was, a text she hadn't deleted yet, disguised as a text from Sung Ah. Then Yuri came and took her phone back, saying I shouldn't look at other people's phones. July 6, 1998. I confronted Yuri about the bread and the impersonated text, but she yelled at me and said that I was in league, in a league with Miss Kim. Then she warned me to stop ruining the club's atmosphere and left the room. I've been feeling like someone's been stalking me lately. Perhaps it was? July 10. Miss Kim informed me of her plan. It felt like my heart started beating for the first time in a very long time. July 17th, 1998. It won't be long now before the plan is put into action. This can't fail. I... I want to save sung -a. Ooh hoo hoo. It just like it becomes more evil. You know, like, how the game starts off, like... Uh, it, it starts off with the janitors, of course, like, you know, they're possessed and all, but, like, the main villain in the first game was Sangha. And then, as we go deeper into the sequel, we got Kang Seo Yun, and now we have Sao Yuri. It's getting very juicy, and I like it. <laughs> I just want to see that again. So, uh, apparently, I read a ghost story about that here. Tramp, one day while I was washing my hands in the restroom, I heard a small unintelligible moan coming from the sink. Surprised, I asked if anyone was in the sink, but I heard no answer. So I turned around to go to my class, then I heard the voice from the sink again. Now curious and wanting to hear the voice clearly, I put my head in the drain. What a moron. But yeah, I think that's what that ghost was. Oh I mean, yeah, apparently this is a ghost. Okay, identify the remains if required. The identity of the remains. Du Sung had a nightmare while napping in the art room. It was about a male ghost chasing after him. The ghost was slow, but he couldn't escape because the art room was locked. He kept thinking that he would die if he got caught. When he woke up, Du Sung was soaked in sweat. Du Sung felt like he saw the male ghost somewhere. Now, there is a rumor about a hidden basement in Yondu High School. 
When there is an old book inside this book, there is an old picture of a man who was experimented on. This man died horrifically, and no one knows where his remains are. He was cautious, but he got his hands on the old book and checked the picture. Just in case, yes, the one in the picture was the same man from his nightmare. Can the rumor be true? If so, is the skull in the art room actually a real human skull? Do Sung felt chilled down his spine. You know, every time I've always seen like these skeleton models, I always believe like they're real. In every single biology class that I've taken. But anyway, uh, yeah, we gotta do this again. Why did you do that? Why? You're just as responsible for killing Han Nayang. No. Han Nayang killed herself because she was insane. It wasn't because I bullied her. On the day she killed herself, do you know what she did? She was doing this strange ritual at school with Miss Kim Ji Won. Ritual? It can't be. I'm the one who stopped them from doing that kind of stuff. Do you understand? Nayon killed herself because she was crazy enough Kill to her. do these kinds of things at school. That's not it. Kim Sung has revived ritual fail because you got in the way. That also made Han Nayong's death in vain. What? Revival ritual? What is she saying? Would you stop bugging me? Why should I care about some insane girl who died? A sudden chill. Oh, she's been got. That's brutal. Slit throat. I think that was taking it a little far. Revenge incarnate. Hmm. Yeah, I think that was like kind of taking it a bit far. Like, yeah. So Yuri did do some pretty immoral stuff. But I didn't think she deserved death for it. Maybe like the same treatment as uh, Kang Soyeon? Revenge Incarnate. Someone learned about Soyeon's antisocial personality disorder and used it to drive Sung Ah to her death. That person won't stop until they get what they want. That one's not very detailed, and that was like the last ending. I'm a little disappointed on that, but I do know how to get the other endings. So it all comes down to like whether you eavesdrop or not. And this time we're going to eavesdrop. Awfully quiet in there, Sao Yui. Are you gonna play the guitar, or... Wait, wait, what am I eavesdropping on? Alright, I figured out the issue here when you eavesdrop. This has to be in Korean subtitles. If you have it in English subtitles, it freezes the game. But if you have it in Korean subtitles, it proceeds with the cutscenes. So it's a little bug that the developing team still has not fixed. Hopefully they'll fix it in the future, because someone also complained about this in their first review. Go ahead and jump into it. Unbelievable. Chung Soo Jin, you're the one who came here because you were scared. You came because you heard that Song Ah's ghost was seen at the school. Why? Because you killed Kim Song Ah. Are you? I'm a graduate here. And you? My name is Yu Jimin. I'm a freshman at this school. What were you doing here? Ah, I left something behind. Let's just pretend we didn't see each other. Since it's the same for both of us, coming in school secretly. Uh, what's up with her? 
Oh my gosh, my head hurts right now. Just like trying to figure out that issue. But yeah, seems like uh, Sayuri is um, using the other girl as a scapegoat. Man, it's been a while since I've last played this game, so I just <laughs> I can't remember the name of that girl. Switching back to English now. Jung Sujin, that's her name. I just can't remember off the top of my head, I apologize. But yeah, uh, you know, while we're at it, let's go ahead and check out Yuji Min's costumes. Okay. <laughs> so is that it? Oh. Well, I've never seen that before. Oh no, this is a new cutscene. Trying to go in there. Sayuri? You know my name? You were in the same broadcasting club as Hanna-yang. Because I heard that Jae Hyop is down there. In Hyop is down there? I don't know why you're looking for In Hyop. But you should be careful down there. Everyone stays away from the basement for some reason. I'll go down first and look around. Go to the night duty room, and try to find something useful by taking this. Okay. We're given two choices here. Don't listen to Sayuri, listen to Sayuri. Okay, uh, what if we start by listening to Sayuri? Because if I don't listen, I feel like she's gonna do something pretty immoral. I'll go find it. Like, just by how alert she was right at the beginning there, when, like, we found out her name, it was already a bad sign. Okay. Whoa. Live leak. Could have gave us a warning there. Okay, we got, a uh, two baseball bats, so... This is where the janitors hang out. Wait a minute. My tongue was cut from chewing on box knife blades. Oh no. This is an alternate route with the Diary 5. The bread that Inup gave me had box knife blades in it. Blood poured out of my mouth. So Yuri, a senior member of the broadcasting club, saw me bleeding and took me to the nurse's office. My mouth hurts so much. It's too harsh a punishment for not reciprocating. His feelings. July 3rd, 1998. Today in up, left his cell phone in the broadcasting room. Remembering the last incident, I checked his cell phone for any texts he had sent. I found a text he hadn't deleted yet, disguised as a text from Sangha. Then in up came and took his phone back, saying that I shouldn't look at other people's phones. They changed it. I didn't think they were going to change part of the diary. All right. So we got that, and now what? who kept bullying you is dead. So you can leave the school in peace now. You've been duped, you. <laughs> Even Han Ah Young knows. She's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> All right, and there she goes. Oh, there's a big storm going out right there. I'm sorry, So Young. I wasn't able to help Na Young leave. That's because you didn't fully grasp the situation. Wait, so she has contact with So Young now? She's not like just a fan girl anymore. So yeah, this is a little after the first game. All for nothing. <laughs> okay, that, that was actually entertaining. All for nothing. Following Yuri's advice, G-Min investigates the night duty room and witnesses Inna, who escaped from the prison, being murdered by the guard through the surveillance camera. She also learns that Na Young was persistently tormented by Inna in the past. As G-Min leaves the night duty room, she encounters Na Young, Ji Min informs her of Inup's death and expresses her wish for Na Young to move on. However, Na Young simply shakes her head. Okay, so if we don't follow Sao Yuri's advice, 
Who knows what she's going to do? So I, I feel like <laughs> it's all going to be a bad ending either way, because this is like, we only have one more ending that we haven't seen yet. And to not listen to Sao Yuri goes to show I'm pretty sure it's a bad ending for UG men. So I'm under the impression that they really do want to get rid of Sao Yuri because she's that bad of a person to the developing team. All right, so jumping back in one last time. All right, this time, don't listen to Sao Yuri. Why aren't you listening to me? Because you're not the she boss of me. If you must go down. I knew it. Don't ever come back up. Oh, she's. Hmm. Now I'm starting to see her since like pure evil out of her. It's like she's so jealous of Han So Young that she just like <laughs> she should she would take out anyone out. Okay. Uh, why are we going this way? We're gonna go down here. Nah, I'll achieve. I know what I'm doing. We just, uh, we gotta do all the... Do we have the... Yeah, we have this thing. We just have to do the tablets again. Oh, wait, I can't go in here. Okay. What are we doing, then? They won't let me open the doors. It doesn't even say, like, unlock the door, or, like, doors locked. <laughs> it just, like, it won't let me interact. This? What the? Was he on the other side already? Sacrifice. Yeah. I knew that was gonna end bad. She pushed it down the stairs. She would do anything to cover herself. Yeah. Um. Uh, you can tell. <laughs> She's the main enemy now. Sacrifice. G Min found out the truth of the Broadcasting Club three years ago through Inup's death in the basement. Yuri has no idea what she did wrong. In fact, she sarcastically says that Na Young's death was caused by her foolishness. Though she pities Yiri, Na Young possesses Yiri's body and kills herself. Wait, what? Wait, something sounds mixed up here. This is clearly about the story where Yiri slits her throat. So I think they, they might have messed up a little bit here. So yeah, that successfully completes all 14 endings of White Day 2, The Flower That Tells Lies. Am I going to be sad that we're done with this game now? I wouldn't say so. I think like White Day Remake or like White Day Original, those two games, like they hit me in a different way. Like after completing it, I do feel like a bit of sorrow because like, I don't know. I feel like there should be a continuation with it, in which this case there was. But I didn't feel like this was the continuation that I expected out of the sequel to the game. I know I could probably go back to episode 1 to see if the Sao Ji Hun bonus scene has showed up now, but the thing is, this game is just so monotonous and not very fun, especially with the autosave, that I don't think it's worth it. Especially since in the last video I've already covered the audio of the video, so I don't think it's worth seeing it visually, especially when we've already seen it in the monitor. So I think I'm gonna pass up on that opportunity to show that, unfortunately. I just wish, like, there was some cheat codes to this game implemented. Like, after you've completed the game, at least, like, all three stories, you can, um, have, like, a little round of replaying it, trying to discover some cheat codes just lying around. Like, I think the original White Day sort of did something like that. Overall, for this game, I feel like Ruten Studio, after seeing all the backlash that this game has received, they kind of, like, rushed it at the end. Which, I mean, I can't really blame them. I mean, personally, I'm still kind of a fan of this game. It's just, don't take this as an insult. I love White Day, but this is the worst White Day game that has come out. But that's not really saying much, because I'd say this game is better than Outlast 2. Outlast 2 is horrible. Or really like any other sequel that I've played on this channel. 
And I will say this, episode three was a bed of roses. Although it costed money, like six ninety nine, not worth it for how short this was. I mean, it was it was good for me as like a YouTuber or Let's Player to be able to like get through this without much of an issue aside from that bug with the Korean subtitles. But anyway, yeah, that's gonna do it for White Day Two. Thank you all for watching. I wish that I could do a bonus episode where I would cover the hidden ghosts. I don't even think that's worth it either. Like, I think the worst episode in this game might have been episode one. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you all want to see the good ending to this YouTube channel. We're still on the road to 100k. Uh, I think I'm going to end off my last playthrough before visiting Vietnam in about a week from now with Bloodfield, which is a Vietnamese horror game. So stay tuned for that, and uh, toodaloo.